Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here in Japan, Ketchjitsu.com. Please subscribe to everyone, Ketchjitsu.com, and go to my website under the same name. People have been liking in the last two weeks, I put out two videos on Neon Belly Escapes and Counters. Eleven counters going into submissions, mostly, or reversing to on top from Neon Belly. So today is going to be ultimate knee rides. Not just knee on belly, but knee on chest, double knee ride, knee rides from the back, all kinds of knee rides. Today is going to be ultimate knee rides. So, uh, lay on your back, please. So most people are familiar with uh, music off, please. Music off. Most people are familiar with knee on belly, okay? But this is nice way. This is jujitsu way. This is nice way. Knee on belly. He's okay. So. Turn a little bit, stop right there. Okay, so instead of knee on belly, next is knee on chest. And if I put my weight on my knee, and even if I bring my foot off, is much more <laughs> weight on him. And that's without pulling on him. If I got an arm, I got a head, and I put my weight on his chest, I can submit him. Just by focusing all my weight onto his knee. So it really shouldn't be KOB. Sometimes it's helpful, knee on belly. And sometimes you want to be nice. But it really should be knee on chest, KOC or knee on S, KOS for sternum or solar plex. So really my knee should go here and I should be riding him, picking him up and pressing him like a, sorry, like a, a folding chair. Okay, next is double knee ride. From here, I can transition double knee ride, I can do chokes, I can do arm bars, I can do kimura, double wrist lock, I can do a lot of stuff. So double knee ride is another kind of knee ride. You can put all your weight, right now I'm being half nice. A little bit of my weight, he's still having trouble, is on my feet. But really you can focus, you can come off your feet and put all your weight on your knee, on the guy. It's also important to know positions like turning the guy, rolling him to his belly for security and law enforcement. I can control him here with like an Aikido type lock. I got my knee on butt, lower back or butt, knee on lower back or butt. I can come across here, get a one-handed choke. I can cross face him here and put my elbow in and really control him there, okay? Besides that, I can come double knee right and control him. I could be handcuffing this wrist and then work on this wrist, get the wrist together, okay? And from there, if I needed to, I can come here and choke him under there or here. Either way, you can put, um, just like north-south, I can go from a north-south, rotate, rotate, so I can be in a north-south dragon sleeper head and arm position or dragon sleeper position trying to get this neck crank or a north-south choke and if that doesn't work I can come up to right here just like I did that I can do the same thing if I was controlling a man here I can do the same thing grab his chin pop up and Choke in there, or in the arm too. You can have the arm up or just the head. Either way, face up, face down. It's important to learn all these knee ride positions as controlling and pain compliance position, and then submissions open up, but the guy's just all defense. So it's not really knee on belly. It's ultimate knee rides. Look for all the sections with many, many submissions. Thank you.